Hello. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be multiplied to you and yours. I know it is well with you. And today I am here to exalt you on the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. I was studying something that caught my attention in Psalm 120 verse 7. And the scripture says that I am for peace, but when I speak, I am for war. Oh, uh, let me just quote exactly what it says. In the New Living Translation, it says that I search for peace, but when I speak of peace, they want war. King James says I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. And when I was growing up, I was so used to this word and I quote them in my prayer time because I felt that if the scriptures were saying when I, I am a person of peace, but you see, when I pray, when I speak, I, it's, it's of war because it is against the plans and the weapons of the enemy. But today when I was studying it and in context of what the writer was saying is that I am a man of peace. The verse says is that I have dwelt so long among people who do not have peace or do, who do not want peace. And so when any time I, a man of peace, I speak, they are against me. They are for war. But notice this. It says I am a man of peace and when I speak, they are against my words. They are against me. The very moment he is quiet, they, doesn't, they don't have anything against him. But when he begins to speak, they are against the words he is speaking. They are against who he is standing in for. You see, the word of the Lord tells us in Matthew chapter 6 verse 9, that blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. When you choose to be a peacemaker, you choose to stand for peace. You see, what happens is that he says, you are blessed. You are the one who will be called a child of God because you are standing in the stead of your father, the one we are imitating, which is Christ. And another thing I want to bring to your attention is that, you see, when Jesus was leaving, he told us in John chapter 14, verse 27, he said that my peace, I leave you. Not as the world gave. The peace you and I have as the children of God is the peace that God himself gave. Jesus but paid a very um, heavy price for our peace. So it is up to you and me to defend and protect the peace that Jesus has given to us. You see, the other time when Jesus was on the boat with his disciples and there was storm all around and the disciples were fretting, they didn't know what to do. They couldn't, they couldn't stable the, the, the boat. They couldn't do anything about the storm. The scripture says that Jesus was in the boat with them and his head was on a pillow in a storm. My God from Zion. He was lying, sleeping, soundly asleep amidst the storm. Because he was peace. He himself was an embodiment of peace. And so that is why as a child of God, you can go through circumstances. You can go through struggles and challenges and still have the peace of God in the inside of you. And this is my submission to you today. Protect the peace that has been given to you. He says, as long as we are in this world, one, we are not of this world. And we are going to face many challenges. But he says, do not be troubled because I have overcome. And you are in me, seated far. You are seated in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. That although you are going through stuff, although you are, you, you are in a challenge, although you can't seem to find a way through, the way out, you, can't, you don't even know what is going to happen. He says, I should tell you, that let this peace of God reign in your heart. You see, the other time he told his disciples, he was teaching them and he said, you know what? My peace is what will guide you. He says, it is my peace that will teach you what you need to do. Let me read this exactly what he says in John chapter 14, verse 27. 
It says, peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not, do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. This is the word that I leave to you. He said, my peace will guide you. My peace is what will guide you. When you have prayed, sometimes the answers are not coming. But it's his peace that will guide you in the way you should go. It is his peace that will direct your path. It is his peace that will be his, your counsel. It is his peace that will give you understanding and the stability you need until the answers come. Protect your peace. It is you and me. We have the honors to contend for the peace that Jesus bought for us. Don't let nothing take your peace away from you. Peace means shalom, nothing broken, nothing missing. And you have that peace. You have the peace of God, child of God. Hold on to that peace because it is priceless. And Jesus paid a heavy price for your peace. Stay connected and know that he who has begun a good work in you is able to bring it to a perfect completion until the day of Christ's return. You are the blessed of the Lord. Shalom, peace. And share this word with somebody. Con encourage them that we have the peace of God amidst every challenge of this life. You are blessed. Thank you. My name is Lady Rhoda. Keep sharing. Like this page, however you listen to this broadcast. Know that we are all praying for you. Bye.